Meet Marcus Cram. He is the founder of Joiner Vending. It is a vending machine company where he buys, places, and stocks vending machines across the Mid-Atlantic area. And that growing business now brings in more than 300000 bucks a year in sales. And it's growing. My name is Marcus Graham, and I made over $300,000 last year for my vending machine business. I have 21 vending machines spread across Baltimore, Philadelphia, DC, and Detroit. This snack machine makes $800 a month, and this drink machine makes $1,000 a month. Before starting the vending machine business, I was making $30,000 a year. I was living in poverty, and I was just hoping that one day I can turn my life around. I started my vending machine business in 2018. I had a friend who saw a woman taking cash out of a vending machine, and it kind of sparked an idea about maybe we should get into it. A typical day for me as an owner of Joiner Vending is I wake up, I check my vending machine sales, I contact my staff to see what machines they're going to be stocking, I then shop for product for the machines that I service, and then I go stock the machines. Not many people know that anybody can own them. There's low startup costs and there's a potential for high return. I buy a bottle of Coke for 55 cents and I sell it for 175. I profit about $1.20 per bottle of Coke that I sell. My revenue goes towards buying product for the vending machines. 10% goes towards paying my staff. Another 10% goes towards miscellaneous things like gas. And the other 50% I profit. So I'm looking to expand to multiple states, add more vending machine locations around the nation. I've been able to change my life. I've been able to change my sister's life. I've been able to change my family's life with the vending machine business. And I want to change other people's life by talking about the business that not a lot of people know about. Well, they do now. Marcus Graham, welcome to CNBC <laughs> and Last Call. Should have called it Charm City Vending, by the way. Hey, congrats on all your success. But the one thing I, first thing we uh, talked about this, I said, are you spending all your time driving around refilling these things? Because that is not a good use of your time. No, actually, uh, I don't stock any of my vending machines. Uh, I have staff in all of the places that I service, um, and uh, they, they take care of all the stocking and shopping. Oh, good, because otherwise you're just constantly driving around checking them. How big, you said it was kind of a low cost of entry. Can I roughly ask what, like, a vending, a Pepsi vending machine would cost? Um, if you get it refurbished, you can pay about... I don't know, twelve hundred to fifteen hundred dollars. A new one would be about four thousand, five thousand dollars. And then, do you have to pay to put it somewhere, or do people pay you because they want the vending machine there? Um, it's split. Most of the time, you won't have to pay because you're like a service provider, uh, so they just want your services. But there are situations where a company will pay you for your services. Yeah. And biggest, how much growth runway is there for you and Joiner? How much gross? Uh, I mean, this past year, we used 500000 and we're hoping to do more than that this upcoming year. Well, I'll tell you what. We're going to let it go. We can, we're going to tell our viewers to go watch more of your story. When you hit 500 k and I think you will, let us know. Love to get you back on. Uh, oh, we did. We did 500 k this in 2022. Oh, so you're... we're oh, trying so... to go for a million in 2023. Well, when you hit a million, let us know, or 10 million. We'll have you back on. Marcus <laughs> Graham, appreciate it. Great story Thank there. You. To learn more about CNBC Make It, you can go to cnbcmakeit.com. Subscribe to the newsletter as well. That's it for us tonight.